a few weeks ago, a while back, my husband and I were watching TV, and it was the very beginning of, of the TV show, and there was a scene where it looked like this desolate, empty city. You know, there was just like, you know, paper floating in the wind, and it was, looked kind of ominous and weird, and I thought, oh, this is odd, I, we must be on the wrong channel, it must be some sci-fi thing, this, this is the wrong show. And I looked up, and then I saw on the screen um, that it was actually Times Square in New York City, because it said COVID-19 protocols. And it was actual drone footage from the height of lockdown, and I had to take a breath. And then on the screen it said, Three months earlier, New Year's Eve, 2020. And then was this juxtaposition of all these people crammed into Times Square, you know? And the ball was dropping. No masks, of course. It was the before times. <laughs> right? <laughs> Remember those? <laughs> and then, and then... The clock struck midnight, and everyone began to sing Auld Lang Syne. And my husband, David, and I, just without even thinking, automatically grabbed our hands, and tears came because we realized that the before times were an innocent time, that we have changed so much since that time, and that that time will never be back. We had tears that we were just shedding for, for that innocence lost. And let me tell you, I don't know, January of 2020 didn't feel like a very innocent time. There was a lot happening in our country politically. There was a lot going on, and yet now in comparison. I mean, right? We shed tears for our loved ones, all of our collective loved ones, over 700,000 now, that have passed on. And there was a recognition, a deep recognition, that we have been changed. Here's the thing, my loves. It's up to us to decide how we go forward. It is up to us to decide how that collective experience grew us and is growing us. Are you with me? So my question for you is what has been revealed in this time? You know, I did a talk way back in the very beginning of lockdown because I, I saw everywhere the, the banding about the word apocalypse. Remember that? We were all wiping down our groceries and we didn't have a vaccine and we didn't know what was happening. We didn't know anything. And it felt very apocalyptic. You know, throughout ancient, the ancient world, apocalyptic literature merely meant an unveiling or a revealing. And what I want to bring into this space today is there has been a revealing, there has been an unveiling for us, and it is a gift, it is the blessing of all of it. If we can just open our eyes, open our ears, have, as Jesus of Nazareth said, the ears to hear, 